Hi guys, this is Kelly from Brand Machines and today I will be reviewing the Mercedes 340 FB sewing machine. Okay, um, it's a machine made by Mercedes and it's a pretty strong machine and does a couple of stitches. Um, I think about 24 thereabouts and including automatic buttonhole. I'll quickly run through the features of the machine then I'll try the machine and do some stitches with the machine. Okay, firstly it has a double tread stand which is at the back for the twin needle and the motor is actually at the back here and that's the pedal. Okay, this is the controller for the um, foot up pressure. Okay, it's actually you can pop it down and just how this comes up. All right, right here you have the tension which has numbers here from zero to nine. Okay. Um, over here you have the selector for the stitch selector. You have um, A, B all the way to D. Then you have this for the button hole. All right, right here you have the stitch length regulator as um, written here. Okay, so um, you just go all the way down. Then why here is for the back stitch. Okay, and um, over here you have the wheel, which um, if you want to connect it to the manual um, or the treadle, you have to loosen. Um, there's a screw here which you have to loosen, and um, that actually gives you access to be able to pass the um, the, the treading for the treadle down. Right here, you have the um, bobbin winder. Okay, I'll quickly um, open this and pass my treadle because I'll be using the manual part of the machine. Firstly, and also rather, sorry, it has um, a light here of which it switches at the back. You can actually open this and. It's an all metal machine. It uses a front oscillatory um, treading mechanism and also uses the regular shuttle and the bobbin. So I'll quickly wind the bobbin and um, tread the machine and do some couple of stitches with the machine. Okay guys, um, I've actually removed the um, cover, which is this I told you, in order to connect the treadle. And I also removed the belt that connects to the motor. Here's the belt and that's the motor so I actually move that and pull my treadle down okay so I will be using my manual for the video okay so all right so here you have it uh, all right so now I actually want to wind the bobbin and for the bobbin to wind the bobbin just from here you pass it through this um, um, this should I call it a knob here right now okay it goes underneath it stretches the tread and it goes straight down to the bobbin I already want some tread on the bobbin I just push this aside and when I when I sew you see okay Alright guys, that's it. Okay, in treading the machine, um, it's quite easy. From the tread stand, you go here, you pass through here, and you pass through the um, tension, okay? And you know, make sure you always raise the foot up so that the can easily pass through the tension, okay? Make sure it goes directly inside the tension and pass through this um, hoop, okay? Make sure it enters in through here. So from here, down the tension, down here, then there's another loop here and another one here then you tread from front to back okay so it's just from here 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 down to the tension goes round it pass through this place then comes down to the hooper here here and trend from front to back like i told you so front oscillatory tread the mechanism all right so i'm just gonna try the machine and do a couple of stitches with the machine now so I already threaded the needle. Um, now, if you want to sew the regular stress stitch, it has A, B. And if you look at here, you have A and B is for like when you're sewing the left um, hand. So I'll be using A. If I should sew A, which is the regular stress stitch, and this is the stitch length, it's the indicator. This is the indicator for this. So I'm using stitch length four and I'm sewing A. So if I should sew A now, Right, that's for A. That's the, st the straight length straight stitch, which you can which you can see it. That's for the A. Then um, 
I'll move all the way to C because B is actually the same to its, um, with A, but just on the left hand side. So if I should move to C, if you look at here, it has a progression for the zigzag. So you, when you're sewing for C, you're actually sewing um, zigzag, all right? So I just want to reduce this stitch length. So let me say I use, um, let's say one, all right? I'm using one for the stitch length. guys here you have it that's a stitch length for one okay which is the um, stitch length for I think C which is that over there then also I want to so um, D D is this um, I think dotted zigzag setup so uh, just the stitch length of it so There you have it. That's the um, C. All right. So I'll quickly jump to H. Okay. I wouldn't want to do all that. Let me jump to H. You just turn this all the way to H. All right. So. That's H, okay, so the design and same with this here. So I'll just sew J now, so you can actually, I, J, that's letter J, and let me just make this like guys um there you have it that's for j you can see the uh, design j which is this here so now in case you want to sew any of the other design any of this one here like um um this other part here so i'll just sew the d and you just turn this all the way down to d now okay and you make sure you turn your um this one to SS. SS means stress stitch, okay? That's for the, the purpose of SS. So you make sure this is on SS and you're sewing D. So if I want to sew D now, I'll just go like that, all right? So guys, let's go. Sorry, just one like That's the design. If you guys can see it. All right, that's for the D. Now let me sew um, another one, which is E. So I just done it to E. Okay, if you look at the description here, E. So I will sew the H and do the buttonhole, and that will be a wrap for the video. So uh, H, okay, which is this here. So. So guys, 
guys here you have it that's the h the design for the h and which is similar to this here all right so um in doing the buttonhole you just have to return this to the regular um stitch length i'll use like zero then i'll turn this down to i have to bring this one down all right so i you know buttonhole has four sides the left right the front and that's why we have this one two three four okay so i'll just do that and also the buttonhole now okay guys i'm sewing the buttonhole like i said it has four sides so i'm sewing the top side okay um that's the left and there's the right side top bottom is here so i'm sewing two first so what i want to do is i just put it on that way and a couple of length then i go to the left side which is this sorry Okay, so let me just make it a little longer. All right, now I bring it back to the downside. I'm sewing the downside of the buttonhole, and okay, so I just want to sew the left hand side, which is this. All right, so guys, there you have it. That's your buttonhole. You just use your seam rip to rip it open. Thank you so much for watching and. I want to thank you all for your comments and keep them coming and also these machines they've been serviced and they work optimally okay so when you get them from me just rest assured that um they work perfectly okay thank you so much and god bless you